Hey guys, this is Coley from Kayaks to Fish Bathurst. Today we're going to have a look at my setup on my Next Gen 11 here in the shed. Into the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, I'll start with the fact that I do have a high vis flag from Yak Attack. I mainly use that in salt water conditions, uh, not so much in fresh water. The rear hatch, at our rear storage area, as you can see, is quite large. I have the Orca dry bag, which I have all my essential gear in, uh, cameras, you know, food, etc. Uh, underneath there is my tackle box, which has easy access from the cockpit, believe it or not. And I have my 22 litre hard box. Uh, on the back of the seat here, I have the Kayaks to Fish backpack. Uh, which is a must-have item when it comes to this style of seat. I have my wet weather gear plus other essentials which are easy to grab from the cockpit. In addition to this, my preferred use of personal flotation device is the Crew Fit 165. Uh, simple, easy to use and uh, good value for money on the market. Plenty of storage in this kayak when it comes to under the seat. Uh, underneath here I have two large tackle boxes, my phone holder, lip grips and, ex and bits. I was lucky enough to get an Eagle Pro uh, seat uh, for my old Next Gen 10, which I just easily transferred into this model, and it has uh, just given me an extra bit of room. Other items that come with this kayak is the standard paddle leash, uh, as well as the 360 rod holder. My preferred uh, use of a fish finder is a Garmin Striker 4 Plus. I, I like the 12 to 6 design of it, uh, simple to use when I'm uh, using the kayak. As you can see here, the max drive, uh, it just gives you that ability to be able to watch the sounder, troll with the fishing rod, and use your rudder all at the same time. It just frees up your uh, ability to fish better. Uh, I've added an additional cup holder, uh, which I do use quite regularly, and the bow of the kayak, I have a Next Gen 10 bow bag, which I've just basically transferred over to the Next Gen 11. Inside there is my battery, uh, bits and pieces, and underneath that hatch area in this kayak is my transducer cable, which you can see through there. Looking at the other side of the kayak, coming down here, we have uh, the ever-reliable ever landing net. Uh, it does come with two rod holders, which I currently have the Kayaks to Fish Bathurst Rollfish Rods, Proberis Bait Caster Reel with a 10 kilo drag, and the Zombie 1000 series, again on a six foot two piece Rollfish uh, Carbon Fishing Rod. The kayaks to fish kayaks come with a standard two-piece paddle. All I've basically done here is bought an upgraded one with upgraded graphics and put the paddle grips on it. The kayak, you can clearly see the a transducer mount cover. Uh, I just use two cable ties to hold my transducer in place. When you go to the rear, through the rear of the kayak, you can see where the max drive system comes into play. Uh, the wheels I've got are just the sit-on trolley wheels I'm just using is for the display. I actually have a set of folding wheels I use which uh, allows me to carry more gear in my kayak without too much hassle. Kayak here we have our uh, rudder access hatch, uh, easy to use. Uh, all you do is you undo the screws on it, tighten the cables up to suit your needs. Followed by underneath the kayak we have the already installed uh, rudder system which does the job uh, with ease. Uh, I don't, you know, some people gripe about it. I, I personally don't mind it. I think it's okay. On the back of the kayak here, we have these four brass inlets, which are designed for transom mount, which is uh, hopefully coming out in the future. Underneath the hull here, it gives you a good idea of the referred to modified uh, catamaran or trimaran hull, sorry. The modified trimaran hull. Uh, the, the bottom line is this kayak is extremely stable. In, in windy conditions, uh, whether it be fresh and salt water. Um, I've had the luxury of using it in, in, um, in both fresh and salt, and I find that the uh, kayak is just as stable as the uh, Next Gen 10 that I had. Uh, but when it comes to chop, I believe that the Next Gen 11 handles the uh, choppy conditions just a little bit better than the Next Gen 10. But remember too, this is a 30 kilo hull as compared to the next gen 10 which is only a 25 kilo hull all in all it's definitely it'll see me out uh, for quite some years to come kayaking and uh, if you have any questions just uh, send them through to me and uh, 
we'll answer them as, as best we can and as quick we can. All right, guys, thank you very much for, uh, for watching the video. As you can see, the shed's coming along just nicely. Uh, we do have new fishing gear coming online in the coming week. Uh, plus, we have a number of kayaks to fish items. We are slowly getting up out of Sydney uh, due to the, the slowness, and actually is due to the uh, current COVID conditions. Anyway, guys, take it easy and have a great day.